starboard side. I think you guys got the view already, folks. Take a look at the Carthaginian. Okay. Yeah, originally, this the vessel was built in 1920 in Kiel, Germany, named the Mary. It sailed the Baltic Sea of Europe for over 50 years as a mixed cargo freighter. It also changed ownership by some Swedish investors who renamed the vessel the Comet. But around 1970, this boat was bought by the Lahaina Restoration Foundation after a worldwide search. They sailed it from Sweden to Lahaina, which took 105 days at sea, also uh, passing through the shortcut at the Panama Canal. But as soon as the vessel came here to Lahaina, the foundation spent three years sandblasting the vessel, retrofitting it, and rebuilding this 1900s little uh, cargo ship to look more like an 1800s whaling vessel. And it worked out pretty well. Now friends, you can board this boat in the Lahaina Harbor, look at all the really cool whaling artifacts after Lahaina's rich whale history. But sometime around 2000, uh, this vessel was about, oh boy, about 80 years old. Uh, started taking on small amounts of water, but the rust became a very serious safety concern. Uh, so much so that the Coast Guard had to shut down the exhibit. Now we here at Atlantis, uh, we saw the vessel just kind of falling apart in the harbor and got kind of excited because a few of our other dive sites have been very successful in creating artificial reefs. So we thought we might give it a try. So we uh, went to the foundation. We uh, were able to acquire this 120-foot-long ship for the amazing low price of $1.